Hello everyone, I'm Keenan 47 aka Wolfkeen, and welcome to the Wolf Podcast, where we'll be talking about the 10th episode of Persona 5 The Animation, I Want to See Justice With My Own Eyes. With me today is... Hello everyone, I am DM Ikami, this is DM3000. Hey everyone, this is Florin G. Hey everyone, this is Amari Fanboy 15 a- 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 aka I was so focused on the E3 that I forgot to that I forgot to make up a joke this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, yeah, E3's been a busy one, but at the time of us recording this, we're done with all the E3 stuff. We're done. With, we're done with all the discussion and otherwise. It's like it's been like lightning round for all of us, and I do. I like I said, I do apologize for pushing out a little bit too much. Uh, but 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 but. Now that E3's over, things should be going back to normal. Yeah, we'll get, be able to go back to normal and calm, and, and things will begin to calm down. But anyways, before we get started, let me first off say any any kind of comparisons that we make to the game or animation are purely done for analytical reasons. And to do the synopsis of this episode, it's basically the beginning of of the Kanashiro of the of the Kanashiro arc, where Makoto basically is trying to find the identity of the Phantom Thieves. Well, of course, she already has an idea who they may be, and of course, blackmails the group into basically wanting to see their brand of justice in her own eyes. So she tells them to go after a mafia boss by the name of Junior Kanashiro, and. Yeah, that's pretty much like the gist of it because not all that much happens and not all that much is changed when compared to the game and animation. Nah, as as a matter of fact, I don't have very many notes down. Only like nine. I don't have. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have much to say on it either. But we'll get to that in comparisons and differences. For now, Dean, give your general thoughts about the episode. Okay, general thoughts. Um, a lot of it was definitely kept straightforward it was nice to see like a couple of the cameo appearances from various characters because i think this one has probably the most cameo appearances if to my knowledge because i did recognize a lot of familiar faces and some did actually make some good appearances um there were some good bits of tidbits here and there like i did get a chuckle out of seeing makoto stock ren (laughs) (laughs) i love to see that in anime form that was actually really funny i really wish though that he talked with her (laughs) oh oh, like like you can talk with her in the game (laughs) yeah i wish that she i wish that he did that um because that would have actually made the joke complete i think didn't did he notice her? He did. Though? He did. Okay. He did, yeah. he did. Yeah, when, he getting, when he was getting on the train. And Makoto went to help out that old woman that fell over. Ah, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I did enjoy that. There was some uh, really good chuckles here and there, and yeah, we've now gotten to see more of Best Girl, so I'm cool with this. <laughs> uh, Colt. I thought it was an alright episode, to be honest. Some things I liked, some things I didn't. Um, I liked the uh, quote-unquote stalker scene. Um, <laughs> Dan, truth be told, Dean mostly said everything that I probably would have. I liked how we got the added scene of Makoto helping the old lady, but I am absolutely annoyed that they included the, you know, in Shinjuku. The uh... perverted guys. Oh. oh yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. I did kinda I, I did kinda laugh that it made more sense though. We'll get into comparisons and otherwise there, but it made more sense to be done it made more sense the way it was handled in the animation compared to the game where it just made the main character look like a jerk. Oh, I don't know. I still think he looks like a jerk in this one, to be honest. Well, I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll talk about it more in comparisons and differences on why I feel mm-hmm. I feel this way, but Oh my but God. yeah, it's like I just hate that that scene is there to begin with because I never found it funny in the game. I still don't find it funny now. I will admit that adding the boss battle music to the scene <laughs> did make me chuckle a little bit. But with how fast the step, everything that they go through in this episode, it's like, did you really have to spend thirty seconds on this when you could have put it towards something else? I guess it's because <laughs> I guess it's because if if you remember, um, I know this is a bit like jumping the gun a bit, but in the game. This was spread out between seven days. Like, I remember that. This was spread out in be- between seven days, whereas here it's spread out in between, I think, two days. I know. <laughs> and I think, it ma- I think it makes more sense, honestly. Again, I'll get into comparisons and otherwise, but 
I don't know. I think it makes more sense because in the game it felt like it was kind of prattling on. Wait, wait. I'm confused. I'm talking about the scene with the perverted guys. I'm not talking about how long everything drags out for. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But yeah, yeah, yeah. that's I... my problem. That scene should have been used for something more important. I could agree with that, honestly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially how considering that we're in an anime and uh, we have very limited time, so best to, you know, keep things going. Mm-hmm. In a game, yeah, it's you can have something like that because we're already here for the ride anyways. So yeah. but in an anime, you got, like, 22 minutes. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Well, the... Though, 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 I did, though I did chuckle at, uh, though I did chuckle at, uh, at Shihaya's appearance in the anime. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, I did like that, and the fact that Ren was like, is this the misfortune you were talking about? And she's just like, it could be. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, I sense impending woman troubles. <laughs> Men show up. Whoa. I love, I love, I, I, just... I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> like, I guess, like even she's like even she's confused about that one. Like even well, she doesn't understand her own power, so. But as I was saying, there you go. like even she's like I, I guess. I guess. <laughs> oh, that's what made that kind of funny though. Just that little exchange. Mm-hmm. But yeah, other than that, I really don't have much to. I really don't have much to say. Like, it was nice seeing Lala. Uh, the stuff with Oya was pretty nice. I don't know what it is, though, but the way that Akechi is drawn in this anime, especially in this episode, just weirds me out. Yeah, mm. it does. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure what it... I don't know if it's, like... Really, <laughs> I, it's probably... It's, like, I don't know what it is. It's, like, it's either... I don't know if it's his hair, if it's his eyes, or... There's just... And when he's just looking back at them after the pancake thing was brought up, he just looks really creepy. Oh, right, the way he turned his head like that. Yeah. I remember that, jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, it's the weirdest thing for me to zoom in. It's the weirdest thing to zoom in on, but it's there, and it's just like, that is a man who's going to kill you later. Hey, 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 hey Cole, you want, to talk about, you want to talk about weird animations in this episode? How, how, how about the animation well, uh, with the way Ren's just hunched over while he's carrying that cable? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> you had a bad day. <laughs> I had to. I had to make that joke. Uh -huh. um, Calder, anything else you wanted to add? Ifumi cameo is best cameo. Yes. Oh yeah, that was that was great to see. Honestly, mm -hmm. and she's a celebrity, so it makes sense for her to appear there. It does. Oh, it, mm -hmm. oh it, but one other thing that I just remembered: Mishima. <laughs> yeah. Mishima. Just like, oh, welcome, right. Mishima. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> like, I didn't do anything. You didn't do what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't that. It was, I didn't do it. It's like, do what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Mishima. Oh, well, then again, that's the kind of guy he is. He's an idiot. Mm hmm. That's all I have to say. Is some that... points I like, some stuff I didn't. It was good. Zach, it was okay. What's your uh, It's all right. <laughs> I don't have much to say on the episode. It was it was pretty good, I think. What, 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 uh, one thing I will say, I can't remember if this was in the last episode or not, but but but, but I love how but I love how uh, Aunt's phone icon icon is now a cat on it. Yeah, they, both I think we talked about this that most of the character like we saw that uh, Ryuji's icon became a, a skull. I, I, I guess we kind of had to assume that that would probably happen with the rest of the group, too. Because if you look at, uh, you know, like, Yusuke's icon, it's actually a... Uh, um... A fox mask, I think. Yeah. Actually, well, well, going well, back to that, we also saw the background for Ryuji's phone is, in fact, yellow. Ah, uh, so, yeah, it is going along with the idea that... Um, it actually kind of... Actually, you know what that reminds me of, actually? Let me get my phone real quick. That actually reminds me of the actual Persona 5 app that someone made on uh, on phones. Because, let me check something real quick. Ryuji's Chariot, right? Yes. Yeah. I knew I knew it. Chariot is yellow on here. Mm-hmm. And on is Lovers. Yup, pink. And what is Yusuke? The Emperor. Yusuke, yeah, Emperor. Blue, yup. Yep, that makes sense. Light blue? 
Yeah, a light blue. Priestess is okay. a, Priestess is like a bluish purple. So if we see that yep. from Makoto, then yeah. Mm -hmm. Hermit's uh, Oh man, that's gonna be fucking. Oh my god. Fuck. Nelson. 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 I know. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just being that guy. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, well, well, I guess, well, I guess, well, I guess it's no worry for me with like, with like, uh, Onsmol icon because, uh, because because she actually changed it. She actually changed it again because previously it was like a heart and arrows type thing. Hmm. Oh really? Yeah, Wait. yeah, it was like a little arrow. Th yeah, well, it was like a little arrow thing. Well, we said it was based off of their all out attack uh, from the, one of the previous episodes we did. Yeah, because it was based off of like the background that you see. But if I remember right, I do. I think Ons was also pink and pink and white. So yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's still fitting. Yeah. Um. Other than that, um. Uh, I, 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 I guess one of the only other things I'll point out is that, is, yeah, I guess the animation this episode can be a little, uh, weird sometimes. Well, oh, 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 one, one thing that, that, that I noted, because, and because, because, because this is when I, like, when I, like, pause the, ep uh, pause the episode, when they're all talking, and, you know, and, like, the, when the group's all talking, like, that little, uh, uh what is it, the, the karaoke happy hour thing, whatever it's called. Yeah. I, I can't, um. I, I, I don't know if it's just me, but um, it seems like it seems like when I do like a little, uh, 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 when I do like a little shot of, of Morgana, you, you seem to be drawn taller than usual. <laughs> I was just like, hmm, he looks a bit more taller here. Um, he's gotten but... little, he's gotten bigger because of all the XP he's been getting. Oh my God. <laughs> or maybe well, Sojuro is feeding him too much. <laughs> may, may, maybe in this anime ad adaptation, Sojuro is finally is finally giving him the the the, the tuna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God damn it! Um, I don't know. I really don't have much to say on this up, so it's it, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so as for me, I'm pretty much in agreement here. I think this episode is solid, though I don't think it's like an amazing episode. It has some good, it has some good things behind it. With like I said, they did a good job introducing Makoto into the story finally, and I definitely like the way they handled like she pretty much recorded their call and even then, even though she has her own ulterior ulterior motive, she. You know, like, she is also, like, you know, she was basically doing this for, like, a different intent, but now she's doing it for a new reason because she actually wants to see what the Phantom Thieves are actually capable of doing. Like, if they're actually just. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And I do like that because, and I do like that because they did have that in the game as well, but I think the, I think the reasoning slash, um, way that they approached it in the game, in, in this, is a little more, is a little more... I guess what's the best word? Understanding, I guess, especially since she is student um, council president. I mean, the students are being exploited by a mafia boss. There's no real way her or the school can handle this by conventional means. Mm -hmm. So perfect opportunity, especially since she knows who the Phantom Thieves are. I don't know. I guess I'm just being. Uh, I don't know. I do think this is a solid episode and such, and. Uh, I guess the way it could have been improved is pretty much, like I said, there are some things that do bug me. Like, go they cut some stuff that does, at least for me anyway, it changes the tone for some scenes. Yeah, this brings us to the comparisons and differences. One of the biggest ones is, I was talking about how, like, in the game... The entire thing was spread between seven days, and I know each and every event. Day one was Makoto approaching the group with the inf with the information, telling like she didn't tell them who she wanted them to go after on day one. It was day two on the school rooftop that she said something. Then on day three, they were looking for information about what where they might be and what they do, which they find out it's drugs. Then day four, they search the entirety of Shibuya trying to find this person. Then they go. Then on night five is when they go to um is when they go to Chihaya, not Chihaya, sorry, Oya. Oya. And Oya. then and then day six was when they finally went into the palace, which is where this episode basically ends. Mhm. Mm wow, when you recapped it, it really showed on how much they really dragged on that bloody scene. <laughs> whereas whereas in the animation, it was it was spread out between two days. 
instead of making the group wait, she told them right there and then at the walkway, they immediately got the work on things because Makoto already had a lead slash idea, which is why she, you know, she was hanging with Ren, but the rest of the group were also trying to figure out some things on their own end. And they even, like, you know, they, like, you know, they, of course, messaged uh, Oya at karaoke, which they did on, uh, I think it was day, day five, leading into night five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, she responded immediately. This entire thing was, like, this entire thing was handled in the span of two days, and that is far better than they did in the game. Granted, the game gave you time to at least mess about in some areas, but still, mm -hmm. seven, like, seven days was too much, especially considering that they tried to impose a fake time limit. Because, like, you have two weeks, seven days fucking pass, and you're just like... Yeah, they expect me to do this palace in seven fucking days, but then you find out the time limit meant nothing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In the game, it was a fake out. Unlike you, I don't have a problem with it, but I do like how they managed to condense everything in the anime within about two to three days. Exactly. Which I know they're capable of doing so. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. And I like that. That was the one, that was one change that I absolutely loved because it makes more sense. Why would Makoto make and like make the group wait? But I do mm -hmm. have to agree, it does kind of mess with the toning, because instead of building it up about it being drugs and trying to find information about the Mafia boss, it just kind of is dropped on them immediately by Makoto. Like, how the fuck did Makoto get all this information if many of the students aren't willing to talk? Yeah, exactly. Well, it could be the possibility is because she has that power of being the student council president, but then again, it's also inconsistent with the game, so... Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. There's also one thing also that the change in the fast forward actually kind of bothered me on because the way that Makoto words it or at least and it could just be her wording and we don't really know the full story with the ki with the teenagers because the investigation talking to the teenagers is cut and we just have her word what's going on it almost sounds like the te the kids in question were willing com were willing complicits to drug trafficking. As opposed to in the game where they were just told deliver this envelope. Exactly. All right, because mm -hmm. they were more they they just basically did it because hey look free money cool. And yeah, and it's like I didn't realize this on the f first time I watched it, but the second time I watched it, that is a huge, huge, huge issue. It makes the kids at Susan seem even worse than they already are. <laughs> well, that's exactly. Stupid. Exactly <laughs> because look, they're swept by the masses like super goddamn easily, mm -hmm. and this just makes it even worse. <laughs> That's the yeah. pro that's the problem. It's like in the game, it makes sense why they won't say anything because they thought, oh, this will be an easy, high paying job. Then they then they find out that they are like they don't even know that they're trafficking drugs. Like a lot of them are just told transport the small envelope and that's it. Yeah, for all they know, they were probably just sending a check to some business to, in businessman or something. Well, exactly, but then they get blackmailed and to and you know some told later. Yeah. I wonder what the I wonder what the police and the school will, will react when they find out you're trafficking drugs. Yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 really nah, nah, willingly. Yeah, nah, it's nah, like nah. it makes me less sense. Yeah, like the anime just by proxy makes me feel less sympathetic for the kids because it makes it seem like they willingly knew what they were doing. <laughs> and again, I never really sympathize with any of the kids in there, but. Uh, oh, no, I don't blame you, but I don't blame you considering the kids at Shujin are crap. Hey, they're but, assholes. Uh, Come yeah, on. exactly. The this all, just the, makes it worse. The they're only even bigger assholes now. The, the <laughs> only the only student I ever emphasized with was the newspaper club person because she was the only one there. Why couldn't we join you. the newspaper club? Um, because you're the you're the fugitive. Because you can't Major join her. Because is serious business, and Morgana won't let you because you need to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 guys, don't you know you'll be able to join the newspaper club and like the expanded game? They better! <laughs> I'd like to do that. Hey, make her. Newspaper make, club member for Aeon Confidant. Make her the new confidant. I'll take that. And hey, at least we would have a club in school. There'd be a reason to be at the school. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, come to think of it, there are not... no clubs, is there? Yeah, well, but... we can't join any. But ranting <laughs> aside, me ranting aside. Um, well, okay. Ranting aside. <laughs> well, okay, I, I, well, I, can we move on to another difference then? That's what, yeah, go ahead. What, what's one that you have? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that's the one, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. 
the Phantom Thieves are Justice themselves. Oh my god. Oh, right, yeah, that's the choice that he made. That's not really <laughs> a difference, but I found it surprising they went with that one. Yeah. They went well, not, not only did they go with that one, they also went with the character literally saying not at all. Like when Akechi says, like, would you think that if your friend ha went through a sun change heart, it was by the Phantom Thieves? That is bold. I didn't do that in my playthrough because I felt like that's a bit too aggressive, personally speaking. But holy shit, I found that interesting that they went that route. I think yeah. that also just explains a lot about Ren's character that they're picking with this game because, or with this anime, is that they really want because Ren seems to be like all for the whole fandom thieves and being justice themselves like mm -hmm. establishing that what he believes is everything that he's doing is just <laughs> as well as basically what he wants to do I do admit I kind of wish that they went with the they're doing more than the cops line <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, you know but what... yeah I do think that you're all, you got a point regarding what they, why they went with that <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely establishing the kind of character Ren has. And the thing is, he we have seen him be like, you know, someone that has a high sense of justice. Here is the here is like one of the first examples where he's willing to say it publicly basically. Mm -hmm. Not to like, yeah. you know, not not to like, you know, not to himself, not to like, you know, you know, exposing himself, but just saying it in a way where you're like, so that's how he feels the Phantom Thieves are like. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that's pretty justified given the fact that he is basically the leader of the group. And it does say a lot to him about, like, both his past, like, basically influencing on his own character, like he does believe, than, like, trying to be justice and in a land where pretty much a bunch of the adults are just a bunch of assholes. So I, I do kind of see in the perspective that they're going with for, um, for Ren in this anime. So, so shall we talk about uh, 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 the thing that we brought up earlier? Yeah, the scene, the scene at Shinjuku. Um, I do like the way it was structured. Like, I do like the way a lot more that it was structured. Like when uh, you know Ryuji comes to Shinjuku in the school uniform, and they see the cop. Instead of the cop immediately seeing them, they just immediately like bail out of there, which I think is a lot more believable than just oh the cop you know like catches them and then they fucking run away. You're yeah, on probation, that's suspicious. you fucking idiot! <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, there are cameras everywhere in Shinjuku. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, and, so, and then somehow they get away scot free. Exactly! It's like, <laughs> oh my god. And also, yes, the scene where Ryuji gets hounded by those two freaking guys. <laughs> I do. Here's the thing. Well, yes, in the, yes, it still makes Ren look like an asshole. I kind of don't mind the way they handled it in the animation because it's like, oh, yeah, it's literally saying, hey, if you don't hurry up, I'm going to leave. Whereas in the game, he just lets Ryuji get taken away. <laughs> like, he literally yeah. just stands there and watch it happen. Whereas here, Red's like, sorry, but I got to do this. <laughs> I'm, I have to disagree with you immensely because that kind of just gives Ren more of an opportunity to just grab Ryuji and, dra and, get, and get him away from that scenario instead. Problem is yeah. the problem in that situation as well is that Ryuji's still in a school uniform. So I'm not so. sure what the school uniform has to do with him getting Ryuji... him away from the cre from the creeps, but whatever. <laughs> Ryuji, I think it's because Ryuji it's like avoid, it... Ryuji avoided the bar because he was in a school uniform. Why oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, like yeah. he said, I shouldn't go in because I'm still wearing my uniform. Mm -hmm. That's why I, that's why the main character went in because he was in casual clothing. Yeah, so I guess either way, it just would be him standing awkwardly in front of the bar and probably would have been found by those guys anyways. So mm -hmm. <laughs> It's one of, yeah, it's definitely one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't moments. Yeah. I still so, stand by my statement that that sh scene should have been the one thing that was cut from this episode. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, speaking yeah, yeah, yeah. of cuts, though, there was one <laughs> other cut that I noticed that, that I noticed. There's actually a scene before... Um, Makoto and An's major confrontation that we get in this anime that actually has An overhearing some students gossiping about the student council not doing anything because they were covering for Kamoshida. Yeah. That's not in the anime. 
And I, and I really wish that it was because it would have made on and Makoto's confrontation much more heated. Whereas here it kind of fought for me, fell a little flat. It did, but yeah. I did, but I also did like the way that it was approached as well, where on basically said the only reason she was able to say what she had to say to Kamoshida was because she had people to support her, which, mm-hmm. the, which the student council like should have been doing from the beginning, but they didn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that does work for a different reason see like that works for a different reason because yeah the argument doesn't get heated but she does get or she does get makoto with the idea of if that like you know like oh the student council couldn't help couldn't have helped and i'm like well the support would have been fucking nice <laughs> but no not even after shiho's attempted suicide that they try to get like you know get in contact with on or anything so no they didn't support her yeah, yeah i get it, that i get that yeah, Student I... Academy is a bunch of assholes. <laughs> exactly. Like, no. uh, I, 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 I was about to say, you know, for an episode we found all right, this is a very heated uh, discussion. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, but then again, I guess it's because me and Cole have our differences and otherwise, but I do agree with Cole. I feel like the way that it was handled in the game is far better than the way it was handled in the animation. The way that it was handled in the animation, I just consider it passable, and that's it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that's the truth of the matter. I consider it passable mainly because it went for a different approach compared to the way that it was done in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there are definitely some merits to the how the anime <laughs> definitely handled it because a lot of it was definitely more streamlined. While the an- the game did take its time and it did for some justifiable reason because it had to pretty much establish on who Kaneshiro is and what he's been doing with these kids, but. Mm-hmm. Also, it kind of dwell like a lot. While in the anime, it got straight up to the point, and it actually was able to flow a little bit stronger compared to uh, compared to how the game handled it. But yeah, there are some details that definitely got lost in the waves there. Most definitely. Um, I I, I guess one thing I should say. Um, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the only thing I would have. Uh, yeah, the only thing I would have kept from like the Shinjuku scene, the only thing I would have, I would have kept was uh, was them meeting uh, Chihaya because that's my first meter in the game. Yeah, that's the yeah. Thing, like... I did like that though that we got. And I did like that. It's like that's one of the things I did like in the Chihaya scene. Like, yes, the people, these guys being added into the animation was something that both me and Cole didn't want, but I did like that there was a nice little funny exchange between Chihaya and Ren. That was funny. Mm-hmm. I will give credit where credit is due there. Yeah, and also mm-hmm. Blooming Villain. That was so <laughs> funny for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was just I, like, that reminds me of Persona 4's animation where they used boss music when these two girls were around. Yeah, with Kashiwagi, I think. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 Nelson, they're, they're the true seeker bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine there being a mementos request with those fuckers. Go. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. I can only imagine what their shadows would be. Um, Incubus. They already have that in one. Aw, oh, damn it. Um, uh, okay, so since we've been complaining about, you know, differences, um, not Nelson, there was, like, two, like, changes that you really liked that you want to talk about. Ah, oh, dang it. What were they again? Oh yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Say it again. Uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 scene with uh, well, basically two things that involve Makoto. Oh yeah. Oh wait a minute. Okay, here's the one thing I like. I said I think I, did I say this earlier? But I like I think I said this earlier. No, I said this while we were talking outside the podcast. But there's one thing I like the animation is doing. We've always talked about Ryuji's character and how in the game they don't really do a great job with Ryuji's character, but the animation is doing a better job here. Once again, the animation hits a home run here because when Makoto records the group, they make it like they very much make it that it's not just Ryuji's fault. On and Ryuji were both caught out in the recording. In the game, however, not only did they make it out that it's Ryuji's fault because he's the first one to be recorded along with On, he then calls the main character saying, "When are you ready for the Phantom Thieves meeting?" And then he gets reprimanded by Yusuke later at the di- at the diner. It's like, game, I get it. You want to blame you want to blame Ryuji, but fucking stop cramming it down my throat. Yeah, even better since the anime also hasn't had Ryuji doing the whole loudmouth thing. It's much you can be much more sympathetic towards the fact that they got caught. Mm-hmm. Exa- exactly. Well, I, was, 
rather than Ryuji just really dropping the ball and fucking up horribly. <laughs> again. Exactly. Uh, yeah, again. Exactly. Hey, everyone, it's time for the Phantom <laughs> Thief feeding! <laughs> yeah, just, okay. that, just that one clip from Twitter. Just. Hey, are you guys ready for the Phantom Thieves meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, you better include that that video if you can find that. Oh, no worries, I will. <laughs> okay, uh, no, nah, but that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, oh my god, it's so... Like, I like this so much more because it makes, like, yeah, they made a mistake. But it's like, you can at least be like, oh, this is why you gotta be more careful in the future. Whereas mm -hmm. the... It's like, in the game, they make it very clear Ryuji's just being too fucking loud, and they give him a lot of shit for that. In the animation, I haven't really seen that too much, even though there are moments where Ryuji does get a little bit too loud. Yeah, and it is proper for his character to be occasionally loud sometimes, because the guy is brash. That's the whole point of his character. But in, in the anime, he's a lot more subdued, like a lot less hot-headed in comparison with um, the game counterpart because in the game jesus christ it's like what the f man just about to punch the shit out of uh, kamoshida when you just get even more shit on him while in here yeah he's just a lot more subdued and i actually appreciate the change and it's actually continuing the trend that ryuji for some reason is a lot better character here than in the game you want to well, well, know well, why well, 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 wait, wait. Well, uh, well, uh, well, Dean wasn't. Well, uh, wasn't Ryuji also also about to punch Kamashita in the anime as well? No, no. Oh no, he no. was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, well, he, he, was. Was. he was. Well, that part, yeah. But he, um, there was also the part in where like he was less heated afterward because they had to think about like what they're going to do because yeah. they really had to think about oh, should we do that thing where we go to the palace and probably risk killing him, or shouldn't we? Rather, in the game, he was like, oh, okay, we're going to get that Yeah, he didn't bitch. care. He didn't care. At that point, he didn't care. Mm -hmm. like, he okay, didn't... We're, 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 all right, what were we going to say, Nelson? That's kind of the, I was basically going to say, so basically the anime is doing confidant Ryuji. <laughs> yeah, because better that's... Ryuji. <laughs> exactly, because Ryuji's confidant Pre... in the game. Go Pre ego goes to his head, Ryuji. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I could see him getting a little bit like 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 this later in later parts of the animation because we already know what's going to be happening later on. But as of right now, I could see, I could see Ryuji being a little loud and hot headed, but not to the same extent as the game made him out to be like almost caution to the wind and and dive in like kind of hot headed. Mm hmm. <laughs> Though he does still so, make stupid decisions. Operation Made well, Watch. Well, yeah. Which... <laughs> uh, Operation Made Watch. <laughs> Operation Made Watch. But yeah, it, it makes sense for him. It's just that they toned him down quite a bit in compared to his game counterpart, which I appreciate. I felt like we had this conversation before. Well, that's because the anime well, it's doing just a good more... job. Yeah, so good on you, anime. Great job. So uh, Great so job that... with Ryuji. Too bad you screw up almost everything else. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh. Wow! I'm sorry, Cole. I couldn't. Help. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Oh. Okay, I will admit, Yusuke is safe. Oh, yeah, Yusuke is still great. God, dang it! Uh, so, 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 you, you want to talk about the other Makoto thing with like the the, the drug dealer guys? Um, yeah, I like the way that they had Makoto handle that scene as well because. In the game, I, I said this, like, in the game, they just have Makoto talking to the drug dealer, being as blunt as a fucking baseball bat against a concrete wall. Like, mm. yeah, like, I love, Mak I've loved Makoto to pieces, but that scene, even in the game, I, when I saw it, I was, like, just smacking my forehead. I'm just like, it's woman, like are you trying to get killed? The it's like, you're talking to the goddamn mafia. <laughs> you're just lucky yeah. they're not armed. Oh, and it's the mafia. <laughs> Apparently, not the Yakuza. Apparently, <laughs> no, it was Mafia which, in you, the game. Makes it worse. No, it, yeah. it, it was Mafia in game two. Yeah, but I thought that was originally a localization thing because there's localization inconsistencies in Persona Five. Yeah, and there, that did happen on occasion. That's true, but then Makoto was talking about a crime syndicate, and when she described it, Ryuji was the one who literally said, "That sounds very similar to Mafia." I know, Nelson. Sorry. <laughs> I meant in the animation. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mafia fucking sucks. 
nonetheless. Wait, oh, nonetheless. way to go, Nelson. <laughs> Shut up. Nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, I like the way they do it in the animation more because it fits more with her character of trying to subtly manipulate them. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah. it doesn't work. Though the, though the one thing I just kind of like, I looked at very sideways, is how after she gets Ren's number, she literally just does a fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> just like... <laughs> No, honestly, my favorite part about Makoto asking those questions is that some of those questions are things that you're supposed to ask at regular interviews, and their reaction was the same as any other boss uncomfortable with it and be, having to be honest with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking God. In this way, Makoto's great. <laughs> is it dangerous? Oh, how much does it pay? <laughs> would it be all right if I asked your boss about the about this if you don't feel comfortable answering these questions? You know, I don't think this job is right for you. I think we're going to go with another candidate. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I love that. It made me laugh my ass off at that. <laughs> oh. oh man, it really does sound like a job interview. It really did, and it was kind of it was kind of good for it. Not to mention, I like that we got to see um, the beginning of Kanashiro's palace, though it's only basically the beginning parts. Also. I like the way that they're handling the way keywords are done, where they describe, like, certain things like they did in the game, and the main mm -hmm. character is the one who has to try to figure it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do like that. Like, I do like that because um, some of them are pretty tricky. Like, we do have to... Uh, there is, like, some palace keywords that are very tricky to figure out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially the bank one. That will... <laughs> How are you supposed to guess? It's like, oh, yeah, what, do, what does a freaking crime syndicate boss think of uh basically extorting money from a whole town or a whole block yeah. the most boring place you ever the most boring place to ever go and the one you hate the most oh wait that's the post office uh -huh. oh. oh and then, and then of course crime that... syndicate palace the dmv <laughs> i was about to say it's like the dmv <laughs> and then, and then of course, just... And then of course Ryuji just accidentally getting the final keyword. Literally saying it's like how like like how are we supposed to figure this out in all of Shibuya? Like Shibuya, match. And then all of Shibuya pit hit found. <laughs> like, wait, what? It's like, like I love that. It's like, wait, what? Because mm -hmm. even he didn't know what he just did there. Hey, let's be fair. Yuji manages to do a lot of these things accidentally. Remember Kamashita? How is he able to figure most of that stuff out? <laughs> Pretty much, but I think that's mostly it with the differences and comparisons. The ending portion of the episode, we do get to see Shadow Kanashiro and as well as a mysterious figure, which we know who that is and what that is. About damn time. Yeah, about yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, 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 I'm just, yeah, I'm just kind of like, ooh. It finally hinting at that for yeah. goddamn finally. Oh, 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 wait oh. a minute. This episode, wait a minute. Episode 8 caused a plot hole. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Wait, what? I, I can't say because it's a spoiler. Oh. I'll, oh. I'll, just, I'll just type it in the chat. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, go ahead. Oh. But, I think at this. Oh, uh, 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 oh, uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of, like Shao Kanshiro, uh, 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 this is like, uh, 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 you know, unlike in the game, we actually see his uh, his shadow first before the actual person. That's actually interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Oh checking. yeah, that is. Oh, oh yeah. Right. The okay. only the only thing I can guess from that, and I'm gonna keep it vague. It, the only thing I could guess from that, and I'm gonna keep it vague, is that, um, well, basically unexplained background reasons. That's the only. We'll talk about that later, probably. That's the, yeah, we'll talk about that later. That's all yeah, I can say. That's like that's all best. I can say to keep it vague is unexplained background reasons. That's all I can really say. Mm-hmm. But anyways, yeah. I think from now we can move on to the final portion, which is. Is this a good episode for regular uh, general watcher, and is this a good episode for fans? So, Dean, kick us off. Um, let's see. Uh, I think in I'm kind of mixed when it comes to like for uh, fans of the game when it comes to this because I, I guess they would appreciate for the fact that a lot of the uh, the parts for 
investigating Kaneshiro is actually a lot more streamlined because they're ba- basically if you want played the game, you could just remember that scene. I'm just like, oh, I remember this thing took forever for stuff to happen. But the anime was like, oh yeah, we'll just do it within this. No worries. So, and the cameo appearances, uh, definitely a lot of folks can appreciate that. So I, I think that fans will enjoy it fine. Um, as for casual watchers, I'm thinking they'll find it really interesting for the fact that they're now taking on basically the mafia now. Mm-hmm. Like you went from an asshole teacher to an asshole painter, and now you're taking on a crime boss. So good sense of progression there. So yeah, no, they would think... likely... Yeah, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, go ahead. Uh, yeah, it would likely hook them in a bit better because, hey, we're actually taking on something that's a bit more probably interesting. We want to see on how that progresses. Plus, you get to see more of certain characters, like, uh, basically setting the stage for a, a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I think they'll enjoy it just fine. All right, Cole? Um, casual watchers, I think, will enjoy this episode quite a bit, uh, especially with things like, oh, they're going to take on the Mafia? Cool. And they'll probably get a bit of a laugh out of Makoto following a uh, run around. Uh, and some of the other stuff that happens in this episode. Uh, fans, uh, honestly, I think fans can pr- fans. I think fans will enjoy it too. But truth be told, they can probably get away with skipping it because uh, pretty much everything that we get in here is in the game, only basically condensed. And I don't think, unlike say with use case and the Madarame arc with some exceptions, um, it has enough entertainment value to keep them preoccupied. Yeah, because in the Yusuke introduction, we were basically just laughing at every moment that Yusuke was on screen, for good reason. Yeah, like, Um, don't get me wrong, I love Makoto to pieces, but until she joins the party and her personality really starts (laughs) to shine, she's kind of just standard antagonist 21. Yeah, she's just she's the student council president. Mm-hmm. That's all we really know about her. It's not until we get to next episode where she may become interesting. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And I actually thought that this episode made her even more dull. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Wait. Damn. I'm sorry, Dean. <laughs> I'm sorry. God. No, you're not. <laughs> All right, um, uh, Zach, you're up. Uh, casual watchers, they'll probably get a good kick out of this. Uh, they probably won't, you know, probably, they probably won't have much issues with it. Probably enjoy it. As for as for fans of the game, though, uh, yeah, I'm of cool here. You could pretty much. Skip this and uh, really not miss a whole lot, and that's where I stand on it. For a general watcher, I think they will like this primarily because, as I said, the progression is getting up there. It's like first it's just a like a perverted teacher, then it's a basically a world-renowned fraudulent artist, and now it's a mafia boss who is exploiting like basically everyone in the in the district of shibuya which is one of the most prolific areas in tokyo after all not even the police can not even the police is making any progress in taking this person down so it's definitely showing that the phantom thieves are are now being are now about to go after much more tougher targets that not even the police can go after and as well like it just it does add a few new things that I think that a general watcher will like. As for a fan, critically speaking, this is an episode that I don't think you have to watch, honestly. I am in agreement with Cole and Zachary here. This is a soft pass, I would say. I would say you could still watch this and get some kind of general enjoyment out of it, but you won't miss a whole lot if you were to skip it. So yeah, mm-hmm. I am in agreement that this is an episode that I would say is a soft pass compared to one of the previous episodes. Um, I forgot which one I said it was. Um, I forgot which one it was, but compared to the previous episode where I said it was a hard pass. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we stand on this episode. 
and next time we will be here for episode 11 of the persona of, of the wolf podcast which depending on how well they do may or may not be the dean and cole rant hour <laughs> it could be the greatest episode ever or the worst episode ever just saying depending on how rushed it is oh boy oh boy so with that said I, so so with that said what do you think about our thoughts about this episode of persona 5 the animation got a different opinion than us got found a difference that we didn't talk about go ahead and leave your comments down below and we'll discuss it in the comment section so until next time guys i'm keen 47 aka wolf keen along with i am demi kami slash dm.3000 and i am really surprised to hear lala chan's voice for the first time <laughs> <laughs> That was Seriously, cool. it was really deep. I was shocked. <laughs> oh, oh, I, oh, I, I, I uh, uh, actually, I need to look at the credits again because I need to find out uh, who did the Japanese voice for Jihai in this episode since, uh, since her original voice actor uh, 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 died before the game came out. Oh yeah, that's right. That, yeah. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> I'm sad note to end on, but okay. Outro. Yeah, yeah we're still doing outro. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. We are still doing the outro. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm done. Cool. <laughs> uh, hey, okay, this is Florangy, and I'm pretty sure I pissed someone off at some point during this entire podcast. I apologize. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and and this, this has been Mario Fanboy 15, and I still don't have Splatoon 2. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, team pulp, team pulp. No, team uh, no pulp. No pulp. Uh, no, okay, pulp. no pulp. Hey, 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 Dean, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, I never drank any pulp before. So, uh, no pulp. Ah, weak. Weak. <laughs> All of you weak. <laughs> Till next I'm time. not weak. <laughs> <laughs> I am not weak. <laughs> I'm... So okay, before, okay. No, but before, before a war breaks out in here. Till next time, guys. Take care. Let's play Splatoon 2. Yes. Yeah. I'm not weak. <laughs> <laughs>